John Hartfield developed a unique method of appropriating and reusing photographs to powerful political effect. At a time of great uncertainty, Hartfield's agitated images forecasted and reflected the chaos Germany experienced in the 1920s and 30s as it slipped towards social and political catastrophe. In this climate, communist Nazis and other partisans clashed in the press, at the ballot box and on the streets. Hartfield's images helped transform photo montage into a powerful form of mass communication. Martha Rolls's work is usually centred on the everyday. Here is a work from her series, House Beautiful, Bringing the War Home. It was during the Vietnam War protests where she Xeroxed her collages and handed them out at demonstrations as part of her anti-war effort. Recent widespread protests, including the mass social discontent taken to the streets in Chile in the late 2019s, has highlighted how social media is being used by artists and activists to circulate ideas and information, building in a way on an old practice of mail art, where artists created small postcard-sized works, often including visual poems, collage or drawings, and then shared through the postal system, creating circuits of exchange that aim to subvert censorship, denounce injustices, and call out corrupt power structures. Okay, so to make your very own A3 poster or postcard or zine, you're going to need some paper, preferably A3, some cardboard, and um, I've got some old postcards which I could either cover or cut the cardboard to size. Um, the A3 bit of paper, you can use that for the zine and or the poster. Also some scissors, glue, um, a ruler, and some magazines. Okay, now for the zine, we're just going to get um, a blank piece of paper. Um, I've got the A3 size and I've just folded it in half and then I'm going to unfold it and fold it along the long way. And then fold that in half again. Um, and we'll be um, kind of doing a Constantina kind of fold but on the last fold um, you'll sort of fold it back into itself. Okay so I've just marked um, along that middle fold um, the two middle sort of sections um, marked them with some lines and I just want you to cut um, a nice clean line between them so not to the outer edges but just a little slice in the middle. Okay now that you've got your um, little slice um, I want you to sort of bend it back out so that you've got uh, four sections and then you'll choose one side to be what will end up being the sort of cover and the back cover and you'll have two pages in the middle. Okay, so your uh, little zine is ready to go. You can start filling it with um, some ideas or things that you'd like to share um, and circulate around. Thank you. 
I'm finishing off with this poster. So I've used a couple of the design basics, um, rule of thirds and the leading line. Um, also gone with the sort of blue and green colour palette. But yeah, have lots of fun and um, yeah, look forward to seeing what you've all created. <laughs>